Hello. <clears throat> oh, bubble in my throat. Ah. Oh. So first, I did this. Yay! These are all my ornaments. They're in a box because I was doing videos and photos, and this was just easier to carry them around. So yeah, I will be posting about them on the internets soon enough. But as you can see up there, I'm going to be stitching a portrait today. I am just getting the pattern together. Because uh, the last 20 minutes just kind of disappeared from me a little bit. All right. I gotta collect all the floss too. Alright, so you can watch me collect floss. Well, maybe some more people jump on. I've got all of these flosses here as well that I'm gonna put away as I go. They're so tangled in some cases. That one's hair, that one's hair, that one's hair. Oops. Some scissors. Feels good to. Oh, that one's seen better days. It feels good to have wrapped up so many projects today. I've never. Never had a hoop cake this big before. Basically. No one doesn't even have a number on it. Well, sheet. If I remember correctly, that was like. Oh, that was from this pattern here. Of course, I don't think I grabbed. The same colour. That's annoying. Normally I just tuck the little number in there when it comes off from a sticker. So I might have to just... Oh no, go to the craft store and uh, colour compare this to other DMCs. Alright, well that one can stay over there. This is one of these little stickers has come off. One of them. And if it's going to be a quiet night tonight, I'm definitely going to keep streaming, but put on something to watch slash just listen to, because I'd like to get through a lot of this portrait tonight as it's a commission as a Christmas present. Okay, this is my four boxes basically. Alright, so let's get some colours. Um, I did hope to have this done before I started streaming, but um, it just wasn't meant to be, apparently. It's been a rough day, unfortunately. Uh, that's too stark. I might just mix up a colour, maybe. Oh no, that one will work. Uh. 
I need denim too. Alright, a light denim and a dark denim. It might be a bit too light. That one's interesting. Yeah, let's go with that one. And then a dark. Yeah, we'll go with a bright, bright to dark one, if that makes any sense at all. And then. Well, there's a hair. Except that. That's skin and a beard. Or, ac more accurately, a five o'clock shadow. Anyway. So. Three, two, six, and we're going to put colours away. Oh, we just skip a whole box entirely. That is going to drive me batty. Okay. Sorry, I had notifications happening constantly in my head from the Instagram app on my computer and I was sick of it now nah, I'll get back stitching stuff later if I get to that I don't think I will I don't need anything from this box I just gotta put stuff away to put away for this one, but what do we need? That's hair, that's denim, nine four five. Where's my nine four five? Uh hmm. Oh is it amongst these? Nope. Nope. Odd. My little oat jar is coming along nicely this year. It's rather full, even though I sized up uh, about August, I think it was. This is my oat jar. There's still lots of room, but it is very full. I've done lots and lots and lots of stitching this year. It's a testament to my mental health, I, I feel. <laughs> okay, so 945 is gone walkabouts.
That's annoying. The other skin tone I'm using is 950. Let's bring up the swatch palette thingamabob. So I'm doing 950, which is somewhere. Where the heck is it? There, okay. So I can do 3774, and that's just lighter skin tone. Because it's kind of what I'm going for. No, I really want 948. I've got a skein of a spare skein of it up here. I'll just use that. Oh, I need this still. Nine fifty. Ah, uh, no, I don't need this still. Because most of my colours are apparently in this box. I presume. Maybe. Three seven five three. I don't have that either. Where the Freaking hell are some of my colours. I just gathered up all of my colours and put them away. I don't think I have another project. God, I hope not, because I will have forgotten about it. <clears throat> oh... I do have another project. It doesn't have that colour in it. Hmm. Alright, well let's use a different one. Let's use that blue and then I want 932 okay oh yeah oh and I need fabric ha I haven't even got the fabric ready well you guys will have to just look at an empty screen I'm only I think I'm just gonna get a regular white fabric for this portrait. That's not a lot of colours. That doesn't seem right. It is pretty like simple. I don't want to use the word simple because they're never simple. Simplistic. Still doesn't seem right. Anyway, I need to get some fabric. Um, I got lots of pretty fabrics. I do like pretty fabrics. Maybe I should do it on some pretty fabric. Don't fall off, please. Hmm. Mm, yes, fabric. Hmm. I got the photos from my family's Christmas uh, like gathering thingy. So I'm excited to. do my own family portrait for this year which I still need to post about on the internet well this is nice I've got like a a marbled grey so that's nice yeah let's use that why not 
Alright, I don't need a lot. So we gotta get a, a good sized piece left over. Um, I'm assuming this is gonna sit in a five inch hoop. So I wanna cut it about there. I'm so bad at measuring fabric. And you know what I'll pull out for tonight? My desk stand. Because I haven't used that in ages. Because I've been doing ornaments when I've streamed. The whole of November whenever I've streamed. Um, and the ornaments were just so tiny. They were not big enough to to put into a hoop. Alright, so I've got that side or that side. That side is boring, so we use this side. And we've got my water erasable pen. And I'm just gonna fold it into quarters to get the the center. And then mark out my pattern grid. Can't even see that. I need some music. I need something. Lordy, lordy, need something. I gotta turn on my desktop audio, and then. This is my streaming thing. Put it on random. Alright. Just can totally rub the crap out of my microphone. It's all good. It's all good. I just really wanted to twitch like crazy then. Where's my eye trying to twitch? I'm not wearing any makeup tonight. Usually when I've got mascara on or something, my eyes are like, Hey, what the heck is this crap? I envy people who can wear a full face of makeup like every day, all day. So my face is just like, hell no. To just even the tiniest amount of makeup. Alright, so there's my grid, which you probably can't see, but as long as I can see it, I feel like that's what's important. And I'm putting it in a 6 inch hoop, so I've got lots and lots of room to like tie off my ends and stuff.
Plus, I really like these six inch hoops. These are my stitching, my works in progress hoops. I feel like they're a bit too fancy to give away. They cost a bit extra than a regular bamboo hoop does. So, there we go. Before I put it in the this thing, I'm going to put my floss on a hoop first. And then um And then what? Oh, I'll start off a color first. That's what I'm trying to say. So, I always start with skin. So I'll do this because right now I'm remembering the fact that this guy has a beard. So I need to not stitch all of his face. I am prone to forgetting as I'm stitching. I actually think I want to do part of his head of hair as cross stitches too. I'm going to look at the photo of the man again. Because I think he's got like really, really close cut. Oh, I need a needle miter and stuff. Close cut hair, if that makes any sense. I'm not a hairdresser. What do I call it here? A hair stylist in America. I always search for a hairdresser near me and Google doesn't know how to help me. Okay, um, let's go with one I haven't used for a while. The lemon! I like the lemon. It's cute. Okay, so. Wait, 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 wait. 948. No, I want 945. Ugh. I have 948 in my thing. Dang it! I wonder if I've got it in my backup spare colours. This is all my backup spares? <laughs> AKA. I thought I needed this colour and so I bought it while I was at the craft store. That's not looking promising. It's kind of in rainbow colour order. I have so many 739s, I got gifted like eight of them. I can tell that they're not mine because they look like this, whereas the normal DMC now looks like this. So you can see it's it's paper to begin with, not plastic, and the number looks completely different. <sighs> I don't have it. That's annoying. Okay, so let's look for what was the other one? Three seven seven four. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad I realized that before I started stitching. So that wouldn't really be a great way to start the evening. There we go. Alright. Wait, do I... Let me look at the photos. Because I could probably do the man in 948 and change the mum and son instead. Because they're a little bit darker than dad. Whereas dad's kind of like really pink. So 
Well, you know what? The photos I've got aren't terribly helpful, I'll be honest. No, I'll go with what I've already got out. I think that'll be fine. Skin colour is seriously one of the most nerve-wracking aspects of Stitch People. Like, I don't want to get it wrong, you know? I don't want to offend anybody. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. Oh, I don't have my pattern up now. There we go. So I'm doing mum and son as 9.50 and I'm only changing dad. Okay. So he is... Is this too big? 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. No. Just looks ginormous. Like, super ginormous. Anyway. Mm -hmm. So I got stray hair I'm trying to get in my mouth. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so this one. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Almost half an hour to the stream. I might actually start doing some stitching. That's all good. I'm loving it. Let's get my floss set up and then I'll get it in the hoop stand. Okay, and then I can go like this. And I just realized that the camera has been in my face the entire evening, so that's cool. Let's go like that and then zoom. That's a bit better. Now it looks like it's sitting on my head. Anyway. Oh, I haven't used a stand in months, feels like. Can I zoom in any more than that? Not really. What was that? Oh, thanks. PC Stitch saying, hey, you should save your work. Yeah, I didn't, didn't do anything, PC Stitch. All I did was export my PDF. That's right, I was going to look at Dad's head of hair. Yeah, okay. So he's basically got like a five o'clock shadow on the side of his head. So I'm actually going to stitch that um, 
I mean, I'm going to cross stitch that with another color. It's kind of how I did the pattern. I need to turn some of my enamel pins into needle minders. I have a really cool collection of some of my enamel pins that are still enamel pins. And the reason that they are is because the metal cutters that I got to cut off the pin part and replace it with a magnet broke while I was trying to cut off one of the pins of one of my enamel pins. Um, which is a little bit a little bit not what I wanted basically. Don't forget to do his ears. This man is going to look very peculiar for a little while. Now I'm bumping the crap out of my table. Gonna look a bit like a weird blockhead until I get mix colours. Undo, undo, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Don't have to undo much. It's just annoying. Okay, try that again. Over here. That's not the right spot. In between. There we go.
Vamos a esperar. I'm not enjoying this fabric. Better look pretty in the end. Um. Okay, skip. I just did the ear too close again. Dang, never. I blame the fabric. Okay. And he's got little floaty ears, apparently. So, under the eye. Yep. And then his neck and his arms and then change colour. Or I should just finish his head, shouldn't I? And he won't look weird. The other two heads are normal. I just realised that I gave someone a deadline of this evening to let me know whether or not they wanted to place an order for Christmas and they didn't get back to me so I guess it's not happening that or I'm going to be a sucker in a couple of days and say yes to something that I really shouldn't say yes to if I started that too high... <sighs> no, I just haven't done... Oh my God, This is going to be one of these portraits, is it? Where it's just... Mistake after mistake after mistake. 
I hate it when this happens. Alright, well let's undo a bunch of stuff. Like, a lot. All the way back to this ear. Because I forgot a row of forehead. And I don't like the look of double height ears, so I'm not going to just fudge it. Is my phone going crazy? Jesus, I have to undo so much. This is what I get for trying to just help myself in a way try and make the stitches look nice and flat which you know I should be doing or aiming for I mean Gotta be glad to get this head done. Guess what? This is the third time I'm having to rip something out. Okay. I'm almost where I need to be. Hmm. Well, the holes are nice and stretched out. At least I'll be stitching over the top of them and it's not like I stitch where I'm not supposed to have. Okay, now before I continue, let's just double check. One, two... Three, four. Yeah. Okay. So we needed to do another row of six. Not doing anything fancy this time. I'm just gonna do each row at a time. Cause fuck trying to be clever. Over here. She's learning. She's learning. Oh, God dang it. At least I caught it just then. That's meant to be an eye stitch there. I'm going to come up there. 
and then do four and then skip two and do an ear and then go back. Nope, nope, nope. I am I am tired, like that is a thing that is also the case. Oh my god, I am I am really tired. It's likely at this rate, mostly to save my sanity. I may not go all the way to eleven o'clock tonight. Just a heads up. I envy people who can do two-handed stitching, like, like this. Uh, in, and then up, and like this, when you're using a hoop. Like, I can do it, it's just my left hand is really uncoordinated. Plus it's not as great for watching on a stream because my hands in the way god hair what the bloody hell I'm having a terrible hair day today which is definitely not helping alright I'm back where I was about five minutes ago My god, I'm gonna put my phone on silent. It's just going off. And I don't care right now. I'm busy streaming to nobody. It's important. Now, as, as I've said in the past, I don't stream for others, I stream for myself. It holds me accountable. I just wish that I could listen to proper music and not look like a crazy person or watch shows and not get completely absorbed and ignore the chat. What was that? What? I think my oldest was in the lounge room watching YouTube just now and she should be sleeping. I think that's the right spot. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Nice. I worked it out from the back. Oh my god. Yep, she's been downstairs when she should be should have been asleep over an hour ago. You gotta wonder about the thought logic of kids and um, watching television. I know I did it as a kid. I'd sneak out and hide in the kitchen where I could see the TV and watch whatever my dad had on. Which is always like infomercials and people yelling at each other and stuff. You know, middle of the night TV. But now these kids these days have shit like Netflix and YouTube and all of that that they can put on. Alright, so we're finally done with that colour. Now we just have to do that colour mixed with other colours. Let's do this smart. Hmm. That's downstairs. I know that colour is definitely downstairs. Wait. Yeah, I was looking for that one. So let's look for... Three, five, nine. That one. And then a brown. Three, eight, six, two. Mm, I think that's too dark. to orange. Okay. I'm thinking I'm going to do the side of the head and the beard the same mix. Because it the way he's got it shaved down it's like he's got hair just going zoom. That's the technical term too by the way. You call it a zoom. You learn something new every day so you're welcome. Audience.
Okay, cut these down to size. So they all match. This might look a bit weird, actually. I don't think I can do the regular skin tone in it. So let's do that dark skin tone and then 3864. Because the, the regular skin tone is just going to make it look really ugly, basically. Yeah, that'll be much better. Alright, trim it down to size. My god, they're almost the same size. It's a little bit spooky. Look at that. I don't think you'll be able to see. That's all I gotta cut off to make them all the same size. Anyway. Let's do it. So is that the right spot? One, two, three. Yes, it's the right spot. Gotta check these things. I hope this doesn't look really weird. Maybe I do his beard a little bit different. It's exactly the same colour. No. I'll do it like this. If I have to, I'll cut it out. I just gotta remember his hair using the mid 38 colors, 38XX colors, and then I don't think it'll look so peculiar. I'm worried the 3862 is too dark of a call. Oh, shoulders sore tonight. One sec.
This is going to be just the right amount of force as well as it being almost exactly the same length for each colour. Oops, just unthreaded my needle. Oh, and I've got floss hanging off me. Yay! Uh. All right. Now let's do nine fifty. Yeah, it's not a lot already pre-cut, but it'll do for now. All right, where are we at? One, two, three. Need my mouse. That's a ten. Okay, so I want to start there. It's not the right hole. That's what she said. So these two heads are going to be way easier. Because they're just very straightforward. Straightforward heads. You may have noticed if you uh, have paid creepily close attention to all my stitching. Um, this man's head is one row higher than I normally would do and that's purely because whenever I stitch realistic hair I always sit it up higher than what I've stitched the head at and because he's got this super close shave haircut uh, I don't expect there'll be a lot of hair needed to cover the head because he does have a bit of a five head if you know what I mean and his hair sticks up the hair that he does have uh, that's not just completely shaved on the sides so yeah I don't understand how people who do stitch people portraits can start at feet and work their way up.
I mean, I can, I can literally understand how they do it. I just, I don't know. I like thinking that I work from the inside out. And skin is the inside. Because the last thing I do is hair, and that's like the most outside bit. That's a lot more floss. And it was such a nice feeling today to finish my ornaments. I hated doing the little hanger thingy that I have for all of them. I feel like they'd be a bit naked if I didn't include a, something to hang them from with. Because they are ornaments after all. Uh, but I took a bunch of photos, it's on the card of this camera, and I'll be having a look through them hopefully tomorrow. I took a bunch of videos before it rained. We've got like a Christmassy looking tree in our front yard, so... I hung each one individually on that tree before it rained. I took videos. In hindsight, I, sh I should have been a bit extra and put up a couple of like Christmas tree decorations in the tree too, but I was in a bit of a time pinch because I needed to make sure I collected the kids from school. Because my, my kids generally like to be picked up from school. I've never not. My assumption is they would be pretty upset at me if I decided to leave them there. That's a joke, by the way. We wouldn't do that. That is not a stitch I need to do. I'm so sick of half paying attention to what I'm doing and having to unpick my work. Also sick of wearing this boot. I'm really warm in it today. Now it's December and it kind of feels like the countdown of being able to stop wearing it. But I'm only going to stop wearing it when um, an orthopedist tells me I can. Because I really don't want to have to like damage it any further than 
what I did and then be told hey well you fucked it up now you gotta wear it for another six weeks or some nonsense like that the toes already still swollen like I'm already concerned about it legs hurt today I'm honestly I'm really looking forward to going to bed tonight I love sleep sleep's amazing I miss sleep <laughs> having kids takes it away from you and now we have a puppy so I don't even really get to sleep in Sunday morning used to be my sleep-in day. We haven't had a, a sleep-in till like 10 o'clock since we got the dog. Just waiting for any minute until my husband comes up with the dog because he had a really long day at work today and he's told me that he's incredibly tired oh I missed the hole I went just above it um yeah so he has told me that he's planning on going to bed early and that means someone's got to watch the dog because we can't really put the dog to bed at 9.30 in the evening because then he'll just wake up at like 4.30 needing to go to the bathroom he's doing better at that though he actually slept until 7 when my backup alarm went off I say backup alarm because I haven't needed to use it in ages because um, it's kind of the alarm like if you're not already up you really should be getting up Well, I just totally like zoned out then and didn't pay attention to 
about four stitches. I'm like, how am I here already? Yeah, I'm not going to last long tonight. I'm so tired. No one's here to entertain me. It's ridiculous. Where's my entertainment? What? How have I messed that up so bad? Oh my god, I have to undo all of that. Yeah, I'm not going to last long tonight. F fuck! I know how. I looked at the pattern and I saw the 10 line wrong. So everything is down two stitches. Oh, Jesus. How am I gonna salvage this? She's gonna look like a fucking child if I leave it there. Oh, she's got a necklace on too, which I didn't notice. I really just want to call it quits for the night. I will be quite honest with the rate that I am going. So I can unpick it, my plan, sorry, this is my plan. I'm going to unpick it up to the row that has the eyes and ears. Um, and then I can go back, stitch the top, or stitch these two, and then the top two rows that are missing. And then continue back down the head. So the back's not going to look very pretty. But, um, it'll save me having to redo all of it. I'm just slaughtering my thread here. Which I'd really like to not do. Let's use two hands. Rip it, rip it, rip it. If 
only undoing your work was as easy as when you're crocheting or knitting. I don't know if, if you've ever watched someone knit or crochet and then mess up and then have to undo their work. You just pull and it comes apart like so fast. I mean it's terrible because it's it can be so easy to accidentally undo all your work if you're not holding it right or anything like that. Um, Oh, I'm in a groove right now. This way is a little trickier. Oops. We're getting there. Almost, almost where I can stop undoing it. Oh, come on. Not now. Don't do this to me now. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sad now. I'm sad. Alright, so I'm going to go back up and then I'm going to do those rows and then I'm going to go back down and finish the head again. So like normally, by now, I'd have done all of the skin if it was a normal evening. But it's not a normal evening, is it, ladies and gentlemen? No, it is not. It is a let's fuck everything up evening. Oh, no wonder my arms saw pulling so far. There we go. Maybe I should try stitching from the feet up from this inept at the moment. And it doesn't help that the fucking pattern made weird bold lines all over the place stop it the eyes. Fuck it. She's gonna have eyes that are stitched over the top of skin. Because I just can't. I can't. I gotta do ears as well. 
I'll do that one. I'll do some ears. I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, I did the ear in the wrong, the right spot. Can't even talk, probably. You know what? You know what I'll do? You know what I'll fucking do? I'll do happy eyes for the first time. Happy eyes are backstitched eyes. I'm going to do happy eyes. I've never done a portrait with happy eyes. Some people do them every single time they stitch a woman. I'm going to do fucking happy eyes. Fuck you, universe. I do what I want. What I want to do is not make it look dumb with eyes that sit higher than they should or unpick absolutely fucking everything for the bloody dozenth time or something. Let's do some motherfucking happy eyes. Yeah, on this side, the other ear was a bit of a moot point because it's going to get covered in hair, but this one isn't. Alright, let's get back to where we were before. Jeez, I can almost sew method. Yeah, the holes are so stretched. So this is called the sewing method and it's where you don't put your needle behind your work unless you're like tying off the, th the f color or something and it's twice as quick basically but it's a little tricky to do while in a hoop because you really need to that's why I'm like squeezing here you need to be able to shift the fabric. But because the holes have been stretched from my previous attempt at doing a head. Um, I don't have to like squeeze the fabric too far. Okay, in a neck.
Alright, I'm back where I was before. Hooray! Everybody clap and applause. Whee! Alright, now, this is where I figured out I, I've gone wrong. Because this is 20 and then it's up. 1, 2. So 1, 2. And it's in line with the side of the head. And I gotta remember to do a mid drift. She's one of those cool moms that it's fashionable, unlike me. Neither cool nor fashionable. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have hit the stage of undoing so much work that we are now triple counting and checking our work. Hooray! This is a good point. Oh no, I'm gonna go down. Do it that way. Okay. And her feet. She's got some skin poking out at her feet. Then one, two, one, two, go back. So I can do this one. And then come back over here. And then that's it. Except her feet. But that's that bit. I'm going to cut off my floss for. God, we. My. So my, my goals have changed about what I'm trying to get done tonight. I didn't really have like a big goal in mind when I started, but it's slowly dwindled down to. Getting all the skin done. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's the feet row. And I need to do it here. Oh, 
but it's up one at the top of that row. So one, two, three, and then it's in the fourth. So one, two, three, and where's it? ten? There's so a one over. Yep. All right. Cool. We're in the right spot. And all it is is just these tiny quarter stitches. And then two, one, and two. Alright, now I can do the boy. And the boy's hair is kind of similar to dad's hair situation. Do I want to do it the same way? Nah. This is longer. But he's got like a tiny little mohawk kind of thing going on. So we want to go one, two, three. I was about to say how long the tenth row, but it's not because it's not the tenth row. That's just a weird dark line. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six and then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're back. Guess who's back? Back again. It is me. Tell a friend. I know that's not the real lyrics. But my name is not Shady. Sorry to disappoint everyone. Hmm. I can seriously like feel the pull of bed. I'm gonna get all the skin done.
Mum looks so strange because she doesn't have eye holes. I'm not used to that at all. It's unusual for me. Just keep like zoning out. Come on, let go. The heck is happening? There we go. So tangled. Without it actually being really tangled. Hard to describe. Ouch. Oh, I just realized I've been clenching my foot like with my sore toe. So my toe is sore now. Clever me. Oops. Jesus, I am tired. I just realized why I'm so tired as well. It's a couple of reasons. I woke up at about four and I felt wide awake. And I was like, oh cool, I'll get up and uh, have some time in a quiet house and then I was like the logic side of me was like as soon as you get up the dog is gonna wake up and you're not gonna get any quiet time to yourself so I laid in bed for a while eventually got back to sleep but that happened and um, I forgot to take part of my medication that helps me stay alert and focused which to be honest I've actually managed quite well without having taken it today compared to usual if I've forgotten to take it so that's a good thing I guess.
I would have liked to have gotten some color on this piece this evening, but um, I'm looking at the time and feeling how I'm feeling. Likely going to call it for 10 o'clock. Get all curled up with some white noise in bed. Love me some good white noise. God, I'm so tired. I'm almost there. Skin, though. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Do quick eyes. Ah. <sighs> goes wild. Let's see how happy eyes look. Need a sharp needle.
Did I just... What do I did? Accidentally tugged on it and pulled out almost all of the the back of it. Okay, so I'm gonna start there. I'll do little eyelashes in one strand. This is just not my style, but like it looks cute. Kind of reminds me of like anime style in a way. So we'll trim that off and then pull it back down to one strand. Redo the back. And then we'll do little teensy eyelashes. This is what we need the sharp needle for. There we go. Alright. So that is what is known in the Stitch People community as Happy Eyes. Because they look like they're smiling. I'll just leave that. How many strands is this? One, two, three. At least the person I messed up the skin on to have to do different kind of eyes was the mum where eyes like that work. And it's the only woman in the portrait as well. I feel like if the little kid was a girl, I'd need to do it for them as well. Okay, I'm done for the night. Dunzo.
So yeah, apologies for cutting it short this evening. And apologies for not streaming last week. I was feeling like rat shit, I believe. I was just super unwell and I'd had a really terrible day. And it was Thanksgiving, that's right. Um, so it felt a little silly to stream on Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, but I got some work done. That, that doesn't feel like two hours worth of work, so I'm a bit bummed about that. I mean, I didn't start stitching until like halfway through, or half an hour into the stream. So I guess I've got that to remember. But uh, I'm hoping this will look better in the in natural sunlight. But yes, that's me for the evening. If you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, hi! And don't forget to like and comment and all that cool things. But, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm gonna go to bed. See you later!